Fred, there's a lot of excitement here in Brownstown tonight as the winner of tonight's matchup will be the regular season Mid-Southern Conference champion. Like I told the kids, you know, these games are the kind of games you remember. And, uh, you know, you get old my age, you like to look back and remember games. And this is the kind of atmosphere you're going to have, a great crowd, a great uh, team you're playing. An undefeated matchup in October with a conference championship on the line. It does not get much better than that. We've been in this before. You know, it's not like we've won 13 sectionals and, you know, we've, we've been in big games. So, you know, I just tell the kids, you know, it's kind of like the Seymour game. I said, don't get too hype at the game. It's a four-quarter game. You know, just relax and have fun and enjoy it. You know Silver Creek is going to enjoy it as well. The Dragons are off to their best start in program history with a 7-0 and record. Everybody's constantly coming over our shoulders, asking us about it, you know, telling us we can't do it. But uh, we've, we've done a lot of things that people said we can't do, and I believe we can bring it. It's a chance for Silver Creek to prove to everyone it's here to stay. On a lot of levels, it'd be big. You know, our, our, we do have a short history, eight years here. And, uh, you know, I, I think we've, uh, we've kind of climbed the ladder pretty quickly in, in a short amount of time. So, you know, it, it would be the next step. Brownstown head coach Reed May knows it is Silver Creek's next step, too. And he is making the point to his guys that the Dragons are going to be ready to play come kickoff. They're undefeated. First time they've been undefeated this late in the year. They have never won the football conference. Uh, they haven't beaten us. All those things I'm sure their coach is telling those kids and they're going to be fired up. Of course, the weather is likely going to be an issue tonight as rain is expected for at least some of this game and that means the footballs are going to be wet. All the teams, both of them told me yesterday that they do practice that at practice by getting their footballs wet so that they can work on grip and there is no question that will come in handy tonight. Live in Brownstown, I'm Andrew Chernoff, WLKY Sports.